This is Lyle Fast. Welcome to the No Spoof Zone. And we have one of the more traditional wines made in Alsace today. It is a, as they call it, Alfa, Alsace, Alfas, Alsace, Alsace, excuse me, an assemblage de sapage de Alsace. It's a field blend. It's pretty much whatever is in the field, they throw in the bottle. So I have no idea what the grapes are, but it could be some sort of combination of Riesling, Pinot Gris, a Verge Germiter, Muscat, Auxerrois, Sylvaner, who knows? It's probably all in there, plus more. Who knows? And it is the 2007 vintage. I mean, this is the way they used to make wine in Alsace. And certain producers, like Marshall Dees, actually uh, are very famous for their field wines. And they cost sometimes significantly more than any of their other wines, but only in the Dees portfolio. And this is the 2007 vintage of the Les Savoir. The point of the field blend also, to get a little bit geeky for one second, is uh, to show the terroir of the site, or the blend of the sites to it. It's less about the grape and more about the soil, because if you're not writing the grape on it, um, it's definitely more about where it's from, obviously, and nothing is more important than where it's from in these type of blends. Great nose, great nose. This is up my alley right here. Pretty much 70 non-fruit, 30 fruit. Honeyed, mineral, even a little bit of a confectionery note, which is kind of that sugary thing you smell if you're sticking your nose in a cotton candy machine or something like that. Beautiful, beautiful nose. I mean, there's, there's a honeyed aspect to it, but there's so much floral and mineral nuance surrounded that it's not one note, which is a lot of the problem with honeyed aromas sometimes. Great, great aroma. Wow. Very earthy, very savory. Wow. As I said, this tastes more like the land than any of the grapes. Wow, it's got a beautiful balance to it. It's got a weightlessness and etherealness to the mouth. Uh, if I had to complain, well, I'm going to complain. It's, the finish is short. I'm going to have another sip to see if that's uh, the ultimate determination. The finish is a little bit short, but I don't think it's that bad because everything else in the wine is just so beautiful. Just the way this is in the mouth, the texture, uh, the aromas, you know, just because it's short, whatever, you know. Maybe I should be more critical, but I like it. You know, it's like Cindy Crawford's mold. You going to really complain about that? Oh, that nose is just amazing. It's so inviting. There's a warmth to it. It's one of those aromas that takes you to some place, even if you weren't there, that brings you back some sort of memory, even if you didn't have the memory. Mm. Earthy, savory, complex. The, the finish reminds me of Riesling, so I'm, I, I have to say that there's going to be a little bit of Riesling here that's, or maybe even a lot that's dominating the blend. It definitely has that kind of ephemeral, you know, ethereal minerality on the finish that kind of just spreads and just kind of goes really beautiful, very elegant, fun, fun, fun wine. Definitely not a serious hardcore wine, but very fun. And I think it's okay that wine can be fun too. Lovely, lovely wine. This is Lyle Fast from the No Spoof Zone. Checking out today. I hope to see you again soon.